Hello, my name is Morty Shushan, and today we're going to discuss how to manage NFS version 4 ACLs with FluidFS. In this video, we will discuss the following objectives. What are NFS v4 ACLs and how to implement them in the FluidFS file system? NFS v3 and NFS v4 interoperability. We also going to discuss NFS and SMB interoperability and what are the best practices using NFS ACLs. What are NFS v4 ACLs? NFS v4 introduced a new way to manage permission. Unlike the traditional way to manage permission with POSIX, in NFS v4, the control available through ACLs are really granular and powerful. ACLs are a list of ACEs. An ACE is an access control entry, which is a signal control statement that specifies the access to a user or a group. With NFS version 4, we need to use the following command from the client side to get or set information about ACLs. NFS 4 get FACL. With this command, you will be able to display the NFS version 4 ACLs for a file or a directory. NFS 4 set FACL. With this command, you will be able to add or remove ACL from a file or a directory. For FluidFS to work with NFS version 4, we need to enable NFS version 4 protocol on FluidFS. On the client machine, we need to install NFS 4 ACLs tools, and we need to mount the file system with NFS version 4. Next, we're going to demonstrate how to enable and mount NFS version 4 with FluidFS. To enable NFS version 4 on FluidFS, right-click on the cluster and click Edit Settings. Click on File Systems. And then change the maximum NFS version supported to NFS version 4.1. Click OK. Now let's go to our NFS client, which is a Linux client, and run the following command mount t NFS version 4, the IP of the cluster, and the volume, space the mount. The example on the screen. After we successfully mounted the file system, we can run the command mount and make sure we actually mount the file system. And then we can access the mount point and list the files that already exist in that specific volume. Next, we're gonna demonstrate how we use NFS version 4 ACLs with FluidFS. Now that we've mounted FluidFS with NFS version 4, we can create files and look at their ACLs. In this demonstration, we're going to create a file using the command touch. Let's make sure the file is there by using the command ls. To get a full list of all possible ACLs, we can use the following command nfs4 underscore get facl minus h. This will list all the possible permissions that we can apply to a file. Let's get the ACLs for file one. Now we can see the permission of file one. 
we can see the permission for owner, group, and everyone. Let's focus on group everyone. We can see the permission is RTNCY. What does that mean? Let's look at the previous command that we run, get FACL minus H, and will help, help us decode the permission. So R means read data, T means read attribute, N mean read name attribute, C read ACL, and Y synchronize. Now that we know group everyone has read permission, and we're going to change that. To do that, follow the command on the screen. This command will add write permission to group everyone. Let's make sure the ACL is there. As you can see right now, group everyone has a right permission. Next, we're going to demonstrate NFS version 3 and NFS version 4 interoperability. To describe NFS version 3 and NFS version 4 interoperability, let's mount the same export with NFS version 3. We're going to use the command mount, the IP, the volume, and a new mount point. Let's change directory to the new mount point. Let's create a file named file2. Let's look at the permission. Note the permission on file2 and let's go back to our NFS version 4 mount point and check the permission. We're going to use the command NFS version 4 underscore get FACL file 2. As you can see, the NFS version 4 translate our existing POST6 ACL to NFS version 4 ACLs automatically. Now we're going to change file to permission to a full permission using the change mode command. Look at the permission now. File 2 has full permission. Let's check that from the NFS version 4 perspective. And as you can see, NFS version 4 also translates the permission to a full permission for file 2. Now, we are going to look at the permission of file 2 from a Linux client that does not have NFS version 4 tools installed. And we're going to see how NFS version 3 will show the permission. For that, we are going to use uh, another Linux box named Linux 2. Let's mount the same export. Change directory to the new mount point. And list the files. As you can see, file 2 has full permission. SMB and NFS version 4 interoperability. On every volume in FluidFS, you can choose one of the following security style, which will dictate which file protocol handle the ownership and the permission of the files written to that volume. Regardless of the security style, any protocol can access the files. Unix security style. The ownership and permission of the file will use POSIX, UID and GID, and NFS version 4 ACLs. Permission and ownership can be changed only from a Unix client. NTFS security style. This is the default security style but can be changed. The ownership and permission of the files will use Windows permission files. Permission and ownership can be changed only from a Windows client. Mixed mode security style. 
In this mode, the ownership and permission will be changed depending on which protocol create or edit the file. For example, if a file written from a Windows client, the file has Windows style permission. And later on, if we edit the file from a Unix client, the permission will be changed to a Unix style permission. The NFS ACLs have a similar semantic as SMB ACLs, except the AC principal identifier. While setting SMB ACL, Windows clients send a unique SID identifier for each ACEs. NFS v4 clients send the principal in the format as username at domain. The NFS version 4 server received the username at domain identifier, translate to a UID or a GID, and keep the ACEs using UID and GID. Authorization. Authorization is the process that decides if a certain user is allowed to perform a certain action on a file or directory based on the file or directory ownership and permission. Fluid File System authorizes operation on a file or directory using native access check. File ownership and permission types are always evaluated against users and group entities from the same type, even if the original request came from a different type. The following table show how authorization works when security style is set to Unix. For example, if the file security in the owner type has a Unix permission, UID and GID, and we want to access an NFS ACL, we use the native method. The following table show how authorization works when security style set to NTFS. When file security set to SID and GSID, and we try to access an NFS ACL, the system check the ownership of the original user SID, convert the client to UID and check the UID and all GID against NFS version 4 ACL natively. Authorization in mixed mode security style. When mixed mode security style is used, the security style of a file will reflect the protocol used by the last application that rewrite the permission to the file. When the file is accessed by a client, authorization will initially behave like the security style was either Unix or NTFS. Best practices. Volume security style. When choosing security style for a fluid FS volume, consider what protocol is mostly used. If most of the access to a specific volume is done via NFS or SMB, choose the security style accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about FluidFS, please visit our Tech Center website.